Hey, hi there. So today I would like to show the release candidate uh, for the latest version of Yuma. So together I'm also uploading the content pack for content creators. Basically this is what you get. We now have the, the new base textures with the UV layouts and the textures themselves. Uh, now I'm providing the raw textures for the um, Diffuse, normal and specular, so you can actually uh, create your own textures based on those. We have also the Blender files uh, for the Second Life to Yuma converter and the base file. We have the FBX files uh, with all the contents. Also the new content, like the Alvan Near and uh, the Big News, those are also being included. And the OBJ files, uh, those are especially useful for sculpting. And um, if you don't want the triangulated mesh, I'm also including the separated uh, files for the Second Life to Yuma. If you want to bake the, the textures using 3D Max or Maya or any other 3D software. And also the uh, Z2 uh, for a ZBrush, both male and female avatar. Those uh, you will notice they are different. They uh, include four subdivision levels, levels. So you have already some extra content to start uh, creating your own. So uh, let me just show those two uh, band files. I'm just going to open here. So I have uh, three different uh, versions. This is the latest one, release candidate two. So I can actually show the those files. So we have the base Blender file. You can see we have the base mesh for a female after and male one. Uh, I've also included the facial animations in case you want to take a look how it works. And uh, the first frame here, this is important in case you want to export for uh, sculpting. The eyes are closed and the uh, mouth open, so this is the, the right frame to export an OBJ file, for example, for ZBrush. And uh, we have the rigs, both male and female. They include the extra bones, uh, gluteus and uh, breast bones, so we can have more control. You can notice the avatars are also on the final standard pose. Uh, we have here a, a light setup, just for previewing the avatars, in case you want to preview them using the um, uh, dynamic lights. So here on this layer, let me see, we have the elven ears and the pig nose. Those are extra content I've included to show that it's possible to actually um, combine the head with different pieces. So this is basically the head, uh, the male head. It also have the animations, everything is uh, receiving the armature um, at fire, so we can see everything is working yet. But, uh, all the those pieces are separated, so we have the mouth, uh, nose, eyes, and uh, ear, and of course the rest of the, the head. And uh, this makes possible to combine elements like this. Uh, this is what happens on unit itself. Uh, here you can actually see those seams, uh, but this uh, I'm calculating those dynamically uh, inside Unity when you import the assets. So both normals and tangent uh, are being recalculated, so you can see those seams on the application on Unity itself. Okay, so let me just open the Second Life to Yuma. 
So this file, we basically have just the specific files for uh, projecting the textures from the uh, Second Life avatar to the Yuma one. So here on those layers here, we have the actual Second Life uh, avatar and topology. We have the materials, sorry, let me take this out. And uh, in those, here we have the Yuma avatars. Same applies both for male and female avatar. So I've already recorded, recorded a video explaining how this works. Uh, and I'm not going to repeat this uh, here, just to keep the videos small. But also here we have the male and the female uh, base meshes using the same material. So you can actually uh, preview uh, if the projection works. Okay, so to keep this video small, I will uh, record a new one with the Unity side, up updating the project with the latest version. Uh, I'm packing and uploading. See ya. Goodbye.